what is going on guys so in this service call i was simply just there to service the air conditioning it was a heat pump we put in back in december and we were doing a courtesy follow-up to start up the air conditioning however as soon as i got on site i noticed a very serious issue on a different piece of equipment that need to repair immediately take a look Well, I poked my head in this closet looking for an air handler and I was overcome with the huge smell of gas. I think it's coming from one of these fittings here. The water heater has not ran because this is a vacation home and nobody's here. So I don't think it's coming from anywhere in here. It's probably coming from one of these fittings here. So we're going to test it out and see. All right, scratch this. Let's soap them. I'll clean up any soap I spill later. There she blows. it's at the union we're going to cut the gas off we're going to break that union right there unthread the top of that union off of the water heater and see if we can clean the fittings up redope it and um put it back on and see if we can get it to stop leaking all right this is the fitting that's leaking right here so we're going to break this union here we already got the gas off and we're going to try to fix it Try to break this union free. Okay, we're gonna have to back that up. Break this free, and this whole thing should get down and drop out of our way. Yep. Move that down here. Clean this up some. All right. Now we're gonna take a take an adjustable wrench and back this fitting up, and then try to get that off there. It's not even very tight. Get this guy, try to clean that up.
clean this side up too. think it was tight enough. I'm going to try to put this back on there with new dope and if it doesn't feel right or it doesn't feel like it's tightening up enough we're just going to put a new a new union on it. crazy on the on the pipe too but I don't care make sure it's good and good and sealed seem like it should bottom out which might have been a trouble with the uh, I'm not sure we did use up a lot of those threads putting it on hand tight yeah that's the thing it feels like it's bottoming out about as tight as I'm willing to make it. I don't want to crack anything. Put this guy back on. dripping it's nothing maybe it isn't nothing looks like that condensate is dripping so we'll have to take care of that next it looks like Jesus Seats now leaking. The hell, man. We got the gas back on.
this freaking condensate, man. I can't believe that. Pulled this plug out of there. Try to clean that up. While our soap sits on the fitting. See this gasket here pushes up in there and then that little clip holds it in place hopefully this is not compromised push this little clip in there to hold it tight. <laughs> All right, let's move back to this guy here. Looks like we got it, honestly. I don't see any bubbles. I'm going to turn it on and run some water because I want that condensate trap to fill up too. and put this panel back on all right well just adjusting it didn't fix it and the o-ring broke so we're gonna have to get a new o-ring for it i don't really carry a whole lot of o-rings on my truck so i'm gonna run by the hardware store and see what they got so i went to a plumbing supply penco which was four minutes down the street from where i'm at i'm like perfect guess what they have no o-rings no o-rings at all nothing i said you don't have an o-ring kit Anything I can steal an O-ring out of? Nope. They're about useless. The Salisbury one, see I'm in Rehoboth Beach right now. The Salisbury one is usually pretty decent. I don't know if they'd have O-rings. So now I'm in Rehoboth Beach trying to find O-rings. The Lowe's is 15 minutes away. I was hoping not having to go all the way up that way, but looks like I'm going to have to. Here we go. All right. Those look a little small. We'll find them. Looks like her. I got both of these. One's a little smaller than the other but I want to make sure I'm prepared. See, I love plumbing, hometown plumbing supplies just as much as the next guy, but sometimes it's just worth it to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and just pick out what the hell you need because, you know, it's all right there. I have my 
my fitting here. I tried different O-rings on it and picked what I needed. Most of the time, plumbing supplies aren't gonna do that for you. And plus you're tying up some guy as he's running back and forth, grabbing stuff. So, sometimes it's just worth it, man. Just come to Lowe's or Home Depot. All right, we're headed back. All right. So I got these O-rings here and these ones. So the O-ring actually sits up here, but there's a groove here also. So I'm almost thinking I'm gonna double up on these O-rings. I'm gonna find the right one. These ones are a lot smaller, but they fit tighter. So that one's going to go there, even though there wasn't one there. That's where that one's going to go. And I'm going to put another one here. I'm going to see how tight that fits. Oh, you know what? An O-ring can't go there because that's where the that's where the the pin goes in at. So I gotta take this one off. Man, it feels like it fits in there tight. We'll see what happens. Turned it back on. Doesn't look like we're leaking gas anymore. That soap's been sitting on there for quite a while. Doesn't smell like gas anymore either. All right, let's get some water running. All right, we've been letting her run for a while. Doesn't look like it's dripping anymore. Good. Yeah, guys, so it's important to keep your eyes, ears, and nose <laughs> open on these service calls. You never know what you're going to run into. I was just there for a simple AC maintenance, and I smelt a faint smell of gas. Plus, I was looking for the air handler and, uh, and walked right into that water heater leaking gas out of that union so it turned into a new work order and generated more revenue for the company and it strengthened the relationship with the customer because it's a vacation home they had no idea the water heater was leaking gas and when i brought it to her attention of course she said fix it she doesn't want a water heater leaking gas into her house and then dripping condensate so most of the time, if you bring a legitimate issue to your customer's attention, they're going to fix it. And sometimes you can upsell them also. See, this I don't consider an upsell. This is finding a, a legitimate issue and fixing it. And there's nothing wrong with upselling as long as you're not trying to, you know, be scummy and be a thief. But, all right, guys, that's another one done. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one.